In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how you can use Adobe Acrobat to use the measuring tool to find the square footage of a drawing when you maybe only know one of the distances uh, for scale in the drawing. Um, I'm using Adobe Acrobat version 6.0, which I know is an older version. You may have a newer one, but the tool is still there. So this is just for reference to get you started using the version that you've got. Okay, so I've got three floor plans here. Um, I'm just going to start with this first one here. I'm going to right click, open with Adobe Acrobat. And once this file opens, you can see that this floor plan has no, it has a scale present here, but uh, some of your floor plans that you get won't have that. But for this example, I'm going to use this scale representation over here because it's going to show me. 0 to 16 feet. Okay. So this is our scale of this drawing. This little image here represents 16 feet long. Under Tools, Measuring, Area, we're going to use the Area tool once we're done. Um, you can see once I select that, it gives us a scale uh, and it shows 1 inch equals 1 inch. Well, we're not really sure if that's the scale of the drawing, so this is how you find out. Uh, you use this, this tool here, you can see the little crosshairs. If I start at one end of this scale representation here and I drag the mouse to the other end where my crosshairs line up with the 16 feet mark, you can see that 16 feet is equal to a distance of 0.65 inches. And you can see that up in the toolbar next to the X value and the Y value, you see the third value is 0.65 inches. So our third value is 16 feet over in, and I'm just going to terminate this line here so it can go over here, 0.65 is 16 feet, and I'll choose feet from the drop down. So now when I use my crosshairs to measure this again, it should show pretty close to 16 feet. And you can see our distance is 15.9 some odd feet, 0.98 feet. So it's pretty close. It's close enough for estimating square footage of buildings. So I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to use this area tool to calculate the area of this facility here by using the perimeter lines. And I know it's kind of hard to see because the black line of the perimeter tool or the area tool kind of blends in with the drawing, but just click on the corners as best you can to calculate the area. Let me come in around here, around the stairwell. And of course the applications are on a little bit slower because I'm recording. It's not usually quite this slow, but and you can select out and around. Don't select the courtyard because we're not figuring the square footage of the courtyard. And as you can see as you bring your lines together to close the polygon, you can see that your cursor will have the little circle next to it to show that you're closing the line. When you click once, don't click anything else because the area, the square footage area will disappear from your area toolbar. You can see the X is 31.54, the Y is 51, 52.31. That's where my cursor is in the drawing. The area of this rectangle or the area of this building you can see is just over 10,000 square feet. So that's very quickly how you can use Adobe Acrobat to scale a building and then find out the square footage of that building. Um, I didn't know that you could do this until just recently. Um, so this is a really quick way to calculate the square footage of an area without using um, lots of calculators or finding the, the, the volume or using some sort of mathematical formula. It's built into Adobe Acrobat. I also wanted to show you how you could do this if you did not have a scale present in the drawing. I'm going to open up this floor plan example. And the first thing I'm going to do in this one is rotate the document. Rotate pages, 
rotate counterclockwise. So my page looks makes sense when I look at it. And what you can do to scale this drawing, since there's no scale present, typically these doorways are three feet doorways in enterprise facilities. Uh, if it's like a door to an office, typically it's three feet. So I'm going to zoom in pretty big on one of these doorways here, and I'm going to use the tools measuring area tool to find the distance of this doorway. <coughs> just in the same way that I use the scale of the other document to find out the variable hit, because I know this is three feet. So three feet in this drawing is 0.16 inches, and we can see that in the same toolbar, the x, y, and then the distance. So 0.16 inches equals three feet. So for this I would do 0.16 inches equals three feet and then I will zoom out of the drawing and then calculate my area by clicking the perimeter of the facility or say if you wanted to just calculate the area of a particular room um, it's also very helpful to use this because if you have an irregular building say it's not a square or a rectangle you don't have to break the building down into uh, squares or rectangles anymore. And you can see this facility here is just over 21,000 square feet. Um, but say for example you had a strange building that was shaped um, and I'm just going to just draw something over here just for example. Say you had a strange building that had like a big courtyard in the middle of it just for example sake that had all these really strange irregular lines as buildings sometimes do. I'm going to close this polygon and you can see the area of this building would be right around 3,000 square feet. So this is a, a way to save everybody some time to use the tools that we've got in a way that maybe you didn't know that you could do because I didn't know that you could do this. So I just wanted to share this with everybody to make calculating square footage possibly a lot easier than it has been previously.